The new Gear VR lets you point, shoot, tilt, drag and drop objects in virtual world, which should provide a more immersive experience. It also can act as a full controller with a trigger button, rotational sensitivity and touchpad which can act as four different buttons as well. However, there are only a few games and experiences on Oculus Store which fully support the new features of the controller. These are the best available titles you can play right now on Gear VR with your new controller. If you like to see more videos about Gear VR every single week, or if you like to see Oculus Store weekly news for Gear VR every Thursday, subscribe to the channel right now. That's being said, let's start the video. Number 10. Paint VR. This application is simply awesome and has a great concept. You can have an endless creativity and go crazy with this app and draw anything you want. There are very good options to choose from, from different colors to different brushes and so on. It has a great potential to be a lot better. For instance, it would be nice to be able to move around in the area and not just stand. Uh, moreover, adding more stickers and more options to draw like a spray paint would be also nice. And it's also a little bit laggy sometimes. Hopefully all of these minor things will be fixed by an update. If you like to show the power of VR to any of your friends or if you want to let your creativity flow in a virtual world, this application is for you. Number 9. VR Cards Sprint VR Cards is a racing game for Gear VR which supports both single player and online multiplayer modes. The controls are great, especially with the new Gear VR controller, turning, shooting missiles, using power-ups and boosts, and everything is great. Graphics are acceptable, gameplay is fun enough to engage you in environment, but the major problem is the online multiplayer. The, the idea is definitely great, but it definitely need more online players. Unfortunately, I couldn't try the online games as there is almost no opponent for me at least at this time. If you like racing games such as Mario Kart or Beach Buggy Racing on the PC and consoles, this game is for you. Number 8. Ocean Rift this is a very relaxing and peaceful aquatic experience in which you can select between 12 different habitats with different fishes and sea animals. The most interesting experience, at least in my opinion, is the sharks, especially when you are in the cage and the sharks attack you. <laughs> it's intense. The area are fairly huge to explore, the graphics are very very good and totally it's a very good experience. With the new Gear VR controller, moving around is a little bit easier. However, it will become a little bit boring and repetitive after a while, after about 30 minutes when you discover most of the areas. The price is a little bit savage, but at least you can try the demo and see if you like it or not. Number 7. A Night Sky this is another relaxing, free, peaceful and pleasant simple experience. The graphics are really top notch, the app does support new Gear VR controller to point on stars and click on them, and the atmosphere of the experience is priceless. Unfortunately the experience is so short, but as it is free, you definitely need to check it out and enjoy this beautiful world. Number 6. Viral Quarantine this is a cartoonish look, addictive game which is very entertaining and fun to play. You should hit waves of enemies with a ball from different angles and solving some light puzzles while avoiding enemy balls. It becomes really really challenging after a while, you can use different superpowers and different methods to complete each level, considering the very good sound effects, interesting gameplay and very good amount of content which the game offers, I think it definitely worth the money you pay for. Number 5. Affected This is one of the few scary titles for Gear VR which supports the new controller. I can't say it's a game because the only thing you can do is move forward and look around, you can't interact with the world so it is technically a short experience. However, the atmosphere of the experience is definitely creepy and horrific. The sound effects are great, the graphics looks good and the controls feels natural to me. 
you can move your uh, flashlight using the new controller and also move forward by pressing the trigger button. I'm not a fan of the type of horror in this game it is as it is based on the jump scares, but overall it is a very good experience and you can definitely experience some real scary moments in the application. Number 4. SWAT Academy Thanks to the new Gear VR controller, this game is immersive. At first you will say, oh, this is another arcade shooter game, but no, no. I was really surprised by the huge amount of content, level of customizability and attention to details in this game. I don't like the stationary approach of the game when you are stationary whole of the game and only can teleport between different points, but there are plenty of missions, different guns and enemies which can completely cover the loopholes and justify the price of the game. I did a full review on SWAT Academy before, so if you want to see all of the negative and positive aspects about the game, I will leave the link to the video in the description box. In overall, if you like an arcade shooter game with tons of customization and missions, pick up the SWAT Academy. Number 3. Vans This is one of the few Gear VR titles which supports online multiplayer games very well. It's a fast-paced magic duels with interesting spells which you can unlock by winning the battles. The maps are fun, graphics are beautiful, there are interesting spells which surprisingly balanced and fair and fortunately the number of online players increased dramatically lately and now you can actually find an online player and start your duel without waiting for a long time. If everything goes well, the game is unique and fun. However, there are some downsides as well. There are some glitches here and there which is frustrating. The new controller support is great when it works, but sometimes it just don't work properly, especially when you want to change your spell. In summary, if you like to have a fighting multiplier game for your Gear VR, this is it. Number 2. End the Space End Space is an amazing game for Gear VR, especially if you like space shooter games. It starts a little bit slow, but as you progress, it will become more and more challenging. Graphics looks awesome, sound effects are great, and the actual gameplay is super fun. It has enough content to entertain you for hours, and there, are, there is a very good replayability value into the game. After adding the new controller support, the fun factor is really savage. You should try it yourself to understand what I am talking about. Um, however, the most important issue with the game is it may cause a strong motion sickness. If you are fine with this issue, then grab in the space as it is a great title for Gear VR all around. Number 1 Drop Dead. Drop Dead is the best example of how you should optimize your game for the new Gear VR controller. It's a first person shooting experience with great graphics, sound effects, and level design. You should kill hordes of zombies using different guns. Game itself is awesome. It becomes really challenging and addictive as you progress through the game. But the most important and unique element of this game is controller support. It feels great when you shoot zombies in the head using this new controller. You can reload your gun by holding the controller downward for a sec and then it starts to shooting using the controller trigger which feels natural, which feels great. In summary, if you like shooter games, especially zombie shooter games, this is a must have title for your Gear VR. Thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this every single week, please subscribe to the channel right now. That's being said, thank you again for watching the video.